Still Island. Hello, Wednesday. Across the island and around the world. This is Radio 1 with Phil Allen. Hit music with Phil Allen. Radio 1 Mallorca. Uh-oh. Guess what day it is. It's Cinco de Mayo. Festive celebration of Mexican culture. Plush. Drinking margaritas. Hey, getting ready for Cinco de Mayo. I am throwing a big Cinco de Mayo party. Big Cinco de Mayo numero uno. De Mayo. Today, let's celebrate Cinco de Mayo, which of course is followed by Cesta to hangover. Greetings. Welcome to the show. And now, here to entertain you. The finest broadcaster. My favorite show. Showtime. Kicking off the show today, Luis Rodriguez and Nausicaa with a tune called Feeling on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hello there, good afternoon. This is Phil Allen for Wednesday. Nice to be here. Glad you're there. Plenty of sunshine today, some patchy cloud around this afternoon. Highs 22 degrees. Tonight, clear to start, turning cloudy overnight with lows down to 14 degrees. Tomorrow, a misty start, but turning clear and sunny all day long. Highs tomorrow, 22 degrees. Sunset this evening, 8 48 and on the radio Alona Garcia all that it's on Radio 1 Mallorca Thanks for asking I've been doing well everything is fine hey, hey, hey. Hit music with Phil Allen <laughs> One tequila two tequila three tequila four Radio 1 Mallorca Little Mix and Sweetie with their hit song Confetti on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hello, this is Phil Allen. Coming up in this hour, we'll have a Soul Train anthem. Right about 1.30, we'll have stand-up comedy with Mark Theobald on being harassed by beach vendors. We'll have a flashback old-school classic and we'll open the birthday file. And we talk Cinco de Mayo plus, believe it or not, Limp Biscuit the Musical. Back to the hits now. This is Blusa and Big Noise featuring Alice with I Know. It's on Radio 1 Mallorca. This is Radio 1. Now, hotter than ever, hotter than ever, Phil Allen. Love that tune. Anita and Girl from Rio on Radio 1 Mallorca. This is Phil Allen. We are going back in time with a Soul Train anthem next. If it's a hit, it's here. Radio 1. Phil Allen. Mallorca's hit music station. This is Radio 1 Mallorca where it's stand-up comedy time with Mark Theobald on being harassed by beach fenders. I just got back from uh, Jamaica, Ocho Rio. Yo, 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 yo. Chris Brown, you want to buy a bracelet? I was like, hold on. Mark. Theobald, Jessia, featuring BB Rexa plays right now. This is I'm Not Pretty on Radio 1 Mallorca. Maybe I'm not pretty, maybe I'm... You're listening to Radio 1 Mallorca and with Wednesday's very latest Not Headline News news, let's cross now to the Not Headline News newsroom. This is Not Headline News. Billie Eilish has a new song called Your Power. Well, you call it a song. I call it a moody asthma attack. Genesis is reuniting for a tour. It's good news for Genesis fans who always wanted to see them live. Okay, sort of live. America may soon experience a chicken shortage. Luckily for parents, this has no effect on whatever is in the contents of those spongy oven heated so-called chicken nuggets. A Sarasota Eagle Scout has earned every merit badge possible including the last one for defending himself successfully from the Scoutmaster at Sleepaway Camp. And today is Cinco de Mayo. 40% of Americans wrongly believe it marks Mexican Independence Day. The other 60% were too drunk to care. This is not headline news. Phil Allen. Thank you. PS1, Alex Hosking, Life Goes On. Radio, what my Phil Allen. You're listening to Radio 1 Mallorca. It is Wednesday, May the 5th, 2021. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is Spanish for Cinco of May. May the 5th be with you. Fifth of tequila, that is. Hello. Happy Cinco de Mayo. 
Thank you. On this date in 1494, on his second voyage to the Western Hemisphere, Columbus first saw Jamaica. The continuous plume of smoke gave it away. The guy in the crow's nest yelled out, Land ho! Columbus replied, I can see the land, but are you sure about the hole? <laughs> Oh, another good one! I don't know where you come up with them! On this date in 1886, the phonograph was invented. Needless to say, it was a big boost for the record of the month club. On this date in 1961, Alan B. Shepard became the first American in space. It was just a 15-minute suborbital flight, so he was not able to finish the in-flight movie. Aww. Singer Chris Brown turns 32 today. He seems like he's had legal troubles longer than that. Henry Cavill celebrates his 38th birthday today. He's no Superman, but he's played him in the movies, along with Napoleon Solo, the man from Uncle. Rex Go of the 80s group Air Supply turns the big 7-0 today. Their biggest hit was Lost in Love, but of course these days there's an app for that. Michael Palin of Monty Python fame turns 78 today. It's actually Sir Michael. His only request for his birthday is making sure everyone knows he's not related to Sarah Palin. And finally, you'll love this. Someone reworked the old Limp Biscuit Jam break stuff into a jaunty Broadway musical number. The result, I think you'll find, is rather amusing, since Limp Biscuit is about as far away from a show tune as you can get. It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Everything is f***ing, everybody sucks. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. No human contact, and you can interact. Your life's on contract, your best bet's to stay away, mother It's just one of those days. It's all about the he says, she says, boy. I think you better quit and let me slip, or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. It's all about the he says, she says, boy. It's just one of those days, feeling like a freight train, first one to complain. Fantastic! Love this tune, here's Afrojack, David Guetta featuring Lux Tides. This is Hero on Radio 1 Mallorca. Little girl, only 17. Still island. Wednesday hour 2. Across the island and around the world. This is Radio 1 with Bill Allen. Hit music with Bill Allen. Radio 1 Mallorca. Do you know what today is? May 5th. Why? Today is a special day. You know why? Do you know why? I have no idea. You have no idea? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo! It's Cinco de Mayo. Also Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, I said that. That's what I said. Did you not hear me just now? No, no. That's because I'm already drunk. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. The daylight gets brighter. Kicking off hour two on the show today. That's Unity and Letting Go. Hello, good afternoon. This is Phil Allen for Wednesday. Radio 1 Mallorca. Plenty of sunshine. Some patchy cloud this afternoon. Highs 22 degrees. Tonight, clear to start. Turning cloudy overnight with lows down to 14 degrees. Tomorrow, a misty start. Turning clear and sunny all day long. Highs tomorrow, 22 degrees. Sunset this evening, 8.48. And the Mallorca sea surface temperature is down slightly to 17 degrees on the nose. Coming up in this hour, we'll have another Soul Train anthem. More stand-up comedy, round about 2.30, Mark Peter on Elvis Movies. We'll have another flashback classic from the old school. And in your showbiz update today, we're going to hear from Andrew Garfield, Channing Tatum, ladies. Plus, we also have audio from some of the late-night shows from last night. The hits continue right now. This is Magical J, Mark Coppy, Love Me Best. Radio 1 Mallorca Hit music with Phil Allen Hey, 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 it's the best day of the year Happy Cinco de Mayo Ready, where's the tequila? Radio 1 Mallorca Phil Allen. This is Radio 1 Mallorca. It's stand-up comedy time right now with Mark Peter on Elvis Movies. I like suspense movies like those Elvis Presley films. What's he doing? Hanging around the hallways going, boo. Mark Peter. This is a tune called Keep Moving from Jungle on Radio 1 Mallorca. You're listening to Radio 1 Mallorca and in breaking Melinda Gates exclusive interview news... One of the world's richest couples, Bill and Melinda Gates, are calling it quits. 
Our microphones were there when Melinda sat down for her first interview. Melinda Gates, how long do you think this divorce is going to take? Well, I think just as you're hearing from everybody else, it's about 12 to 18 months. And how much of Bill's fortune are you hoping to get? 85%. And Melinda, what's your main reason for divorcing Bill? To get out. When did you realize the marriage was over? Well, I think we've always had this false narrative. And are you ready for this divorce? I'm both surprised we weren't better prepared, but quite honestly, I'm surprised we've wasted so much time. So you think you'll date again? It's looking like there are a few good candidates, and to be frank, that's a relief. Yeah, we hear Jeff Bezos is single. You know, boy, that would be lucky. One last question. What about dating guys on Tinder? I'm disappointed in what I've been seeing, yes. You think we could go out sometime? I'm not sure how likely that is. Melinda Gates, thank you for your time. Phil Allen. Thank you. Here's Years and Years with Starstruck. Radio one Mallorca. Phil Allen. Showbiz Update. This is Radio One Mallorca and your Showbiz Update for Wednesday. Let's start with audio from Channing Tatum, who keeps himself in fantastic shape, but not by choice. On the Kelly Clarkson show yesterday, he revealed why he keeps so buff. As someone that has to work out as for a job, I, I promise you I would not look like this unless I had to be naked in most of my movies, mostly. And, <laughs> and like at some point, I got to get better at acting so I don't have to be naked in all of them. But she is just incredible. I literally get to work out as a job. And it's still hard. Conan O'Brien has announced that his late night show, Conan, will end on June 24th. Then he'll move on to specials like his Conan Without Borders and a weekly show on HBO Max. We are winding down our TBS show. The plan is to reemerge on HBO Max sometime in the near future. Our last episode here at TBS will be on June 24th. We're going to be showing a lot of clips of our favorite moments from the last 11 years. It's going to be a lot of fun. A TikToker named Naveen J is going viral for accidentally unmatching Ben Affleck on Raya, only to have him send her a video message over Instagram DM, in which she stared into the camera and mused, smirked, Naveen, why did you unmatch me? It's me! <laughs> Michael Jackson's image is worth under $4.2 million, the US tax court said Monday, much less than the $161 million estimate by the IRS tax services in its dispute with the estate of the pop megastar over the valuation of his assets. The Queen's Gambit star, Anya Taylor-Joy, is set to host Saturday Night Live on May 22nd. More Channing Tatum news now. He's written a children's book called The One and Only Sparkilla. Meghan Markle is also writing a children's book called The Bench, based on a Father's Day poem she wrote for Prince Harry. Next up, more audio. Andrew Garfield claimed he's not in the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, or at least nobody's called him yet. I wish I could just like be able to speak to everyone and say, like, I recommend that you chill. I can't speak for anything else apart from myself. They might be doing something, but I ain't got a call. I would have gotten a call by now, that's all I'm okay. saying. Like, I don't want to rule anything out. Maybe they want to call me. Maybe they're going to yeah. call me, like, and say, like, hey, people want this. Two Broke Girls star Kat Dennings is letting the world know about her new romance with singer Andrew W.K. The Dolphay star appeared to confirm her romance with the singer last week when she shared two sultry photos of the 41-year-old rocker on Instagram. Tiffany Haddish is ready to be a mum. After revealing her plan to foster children, she's taking a huge step in the process, beginning parenting classes. Haddish appeared on an episode of Daily Pop to discuss her plans for adoption. Sean Diddy Coombs officially has a new name, another one. The 51-year-old rapper announced Monday that he's changed his middle name from John to Love, posting a photo of his new driver's license on Instagram. <laughs> Tess Holiday shared that she's anorexic and in recovery after years of struggling with her relationship with her body. The model and body activist, who's 35, said that her eating disorder is the result of a culture that celebrates thinness and equates that to worth. 
Kelly Osborne is opening up about her relationship with her sister. During an interview on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast on Monday, Kelly revealed that she and her older sister Amy aren't on speaking terms. And finally, here's audio from three of the late night shows last night. The river Washington, D.C. just unveiled new social distancing rules that ban dancing at weddings. So if you planned a big choreographed dance, the mayor just did you a huge favor. <laughs> Here, Bill and Melinda Gates decided to part ways after 27 years of marriage. They got the 27-year itch, I guess. They have a combined estimated worth of at least $134 billion. When you're that rich, why do you even need to get divorced? Can't they just live in separate wings? <laughs> Here's some great news. Uh, next week, the FDA is set to approve the Pfizer shot for kids between the ages of 12 and 15. <laughs> Parents were like, good, because either way, they were going to summer camp. Eight people who were involved in the torch relay for the Tokyo Olympic Games have tested positive for the coronavirus. Well, it's hard news to hear, but at least the contact tracing will be easy. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, and Seth Myers. Hit music now. This is Regard, Troy Sivan, and Tate McRae with you on Radio One Mallorca. Phil Allen. I mean, what's not to love? That's it from me for today. Stick around for Diablo V. Essential Afternoons comes up after the news. Des here from 6 with Wednesday's Drive. I'll see you back on your radio tomorrow from 1. Oh, my sweet darling. Oh, my dearest love. I'll count the hours that you're away. Bless you, Trish. Well, that's our show. It's over. What? It's over. It is over. Is that it? That's it. Everybody still awake? Will you come on already? I, I, I just can't stand these long goodbyes. All right. Big finish. See you. This is Radio 1 with Phil Allen. Phil Allen. Spread the word. Uh, yeah. Okay. And the love. Hey.